So you've never sculpted anything ever before or you're super very new to the sculpting world. Hey guys, welcome back to Touch by Kai, I'm Kai and today we are back in Blender once again taking a look at how to uh, get some really, really simple basics of sculpting down. The first thing I'm going to do is we're, we're going to use Default Cube today. I'm so proud of him. We're going to delete the camera and also the lamp. We're going to use Default Cube and instead of using a sphere, this is my first tip for, here for you. If we you if we were to use a UV sphere, you can see if, if we go into edit mode by hitting tab, you can see we have these two points at the top and the bottom. Once we start sculpting, this is going to make things a little awkward and weird because we have these triangle vertices up here. As you can see, we have these are these are like rectangular, you know, and then these are triangular. So there it, it, it's going to make things much more difficult once we get started painting especially because everything is like these are squares but these are rectangles up here it's just very strange so we're not going to use that we could use an icosphere but if we were to do this once again we have these weird triangles and the, and the, the cube is really the only thing we can use and not have a weird outcome so it's it's a it's a good day for default cube today i'm i'm very proud of him he he's finally being able to be used and i'm sorry we haven't used him anytime soon but here it is. this is for you buddy um, I just went ahead and I added in the subdivision surface modifier right there really quickly and this is how we're gonna get started we're gonna go ahead and just bump up the view uh, subdivisions uh, to about three I'll hit this button to make the uh, to make the, the edit edit mode uh, form onto our cube and if you want to at this point you can go ahead and hit apply to this bad boy um, and you can see how we have uh, squares everywhere even here on the corner it's still a square there's four points and that's great. But before we go ahead and do that, I just want to show you that. Before we go and do that, I'm going to undo that subdivision surface. And what I want to do now is we'll set up our, our sculpting. So I'm at 5-1 on my numpad. And on in this right-hand side panel, I want to turn off the grid because that bothers me in display. We'll turn that off. We don't need that. We also don't need relationship lines. You can also turn off outline selected, but I like to leave it on. So uh, I'm using my tablet right now, by the way. Uh, I have uh, all that all set up. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull open this right hand, this left hand side panel, sorry. And we're going to go and change this from object mode to sculpt mode. You can see instantly we have this new interface over here, which is really nice. Now we have a brush looking type thing. If I were to go ahead and start painting, you can see that it's not doing much. And the reason is because we don't have a, because um, we don't have uh, uh, the, the proper tool. So what we need to go ahead and do is we can set up a few of the things that we need. You can see over here it says hide, mask, and optimize display disabled. You can go ahead and get rid of that for a second. Um, and if we were to go ahead and hide this, if we're going to hide this. You can see that we can add, we can uh, make this a bit bigger. You can see how the cube is deforming. If I were to go ahead and touch those points right there, what I'm going to do now is we're going to go ahead and re re uh, activate this. You can see now we have a little bit of a weird shape there, um, and I can hit apply to this now. So once we start sculpting now, you can see it's actually making a difference. There's things happening, um, which is what we need. So. Uh, you can go ahead and subdivide this as many times as you want to. We can actually go ahead and uh, and add that subdivision surface back. We can bump it up to like five. I don't recommend going too high because then your computer might take a little bit of a toll. But five is is probably a pretty good, um, a pro probably a pretty good level just to get in there and just start you know screwing around with some stuff. But I think the best thing we need to the the thing we need to do right now is we need to decide uh, what we're trying to do first of all. So. Usually, people's most uh, favored brush is the clay brush instead of the uh, instead of the sculpt draw. Uh, people love to use the where is that right somewhere around here the clay brush the clay strips brush. Sorry, uh, you can see the difference it has between if I go ahead and turn off symmetry. The difference it has between the regular is that we have these nice strips we can go ahead and layer on top of each other, which build up and then we can smooth that out later on. And then of course uh, we have the sculpt draw, which kind of does that which is much more different than the clay strips you can see why it's favored um instead of uh, instead of the sculpt draw so that one of my numpads going back into the front facing view go back to clay strips we can start painting uh, i want to go ahead and turn back on symmetry lock on the x so now it mirrors on both sides you can see how we now have this really cool thing going on here i think what we're going to do is the first thing i want to i want to go ahead and pull down a jaw for a face we'll just grab this and this is going to be just a little bit of a, a basics video just so you don't look so this process doesn't look too uh, too insane when you first uh, open it up. We have a couple of different uh, tools here. If you were if you take a look at this, we have blob, clay, clay strips, crease, fill, deepen, flatten, grab, inflate, and these pretty much all do exactly what they show here. They uh they they are they're pretty useful, but the ones you're probably going to use most is of course clay strips, uh, crease and pinch, 
and then uh, smooth, maybe grab like I'm doing right now. We can go ahead and grab this little edge right there and just pull that down, something like that maybe. Um, and what we can do, ooh, let's go ahead and turn that down. Maybe we can turn auto smooth up a little bit. Um, we can just go ahead and pull some of these uh, some of these uh, faces and, and 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 vertices down, something like uh, something like this, just to grab a quick chin, uh, something like that. Yeah, sure. Back to one of my uh, my uh, my numpad, we can pull the sides of the face in as well. Maybe we're creating like an alien dude. Um, so if we go and hit three, you can see now we have uh, a little bit better of a face a facial shape, I suppose. Just getting down the basics here. Maybe I want the top of his head to come up a little bit. Something like uh, something like that, maybe? Yeah, sure, okay. And then uh, if we go back to the front facing view, you can see we can go ahead and add some clay strips. Just a really, really quick video uh, to explain some of the stuff so nothing looks a bit, a bit too weird for you when you open it on up. We can go ahead and just uh, paint in a couple of this. Maybe he has a, a bigger forehead here. Maybe it's some kind of visor, maybe. I don't know, perhaps. Maybe you fill in a little bit of a jaw. This is starting to kind of look like um, uh, Mega Man <laughs> by accident here, or Doom Guy. Uh, you can go ahead and do something like that. Just all the way around, follow this around this circle that I've created here. Um, around the back, maybe there. Maybe we have this uh, this opening for a neck. Yeah. All right. Well, that looks like it's pretty good. You can see we have quite a bit of roughness here. Um, and I'll do more in-depth sculpting tutorials in the future, but today, like I said, I just wanted to just wanted to point it out because we've never done anything with sculpting before here in Blender, so just wanted to do a really simple, uh, quick thing, get something up for you guys about sculpting. Um, so yeah, that was pretty good. If you want to go ahead and subtract something, uh, you can go from add to subtract, and then you can push it inwards um, right there. was a good opportunity to show that. There you go. And I can also do that right here as well. Um, actually, I want that to come out a little bit, though. So, yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, and then after this, we can go ahead and, of course, we can smooth some of these areas down. Of course, not that much, though. Turn the strength down. We can smooth some of these areas. We can add more subdivisions to make it a bit more smooth as well. We can go through and we can pinch some of these areas to make it more sharp, uh, like that. You know, like give it a crease or something uh, and down here as well, right? Give it those those harder edges that you that you're looking for. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be pretty much it. What I want to do is the last thing, I'll go ahead and I'll show you uh, we can use the decimate tool to get rid of some of the unnecessary vertices that we don't need at this time. So right now, if I were to go ahead and take a look at our, go back to object mode and take a look at our our, our, uh, our object, you can see it, it, it has somewhere around up here, it says it has uh, 6,000 faces, it has uh, 6,000 vertices. You can see how uh, how uh, how that's quite a bit. If I go ahead and I were to uh, if I if I were to go ahead and add that decimate uh, feature back, and go to unsubdivide and turn the iterations up to maybe two something like that, you can see how well. If I go ahead and, and I apply it and apply it, uh, you can see we have much less vertices to work with. If you ever get stuck and you need to go backwards in time to uh, undo some mistake, let's say you subdivided this thing so much now you're getting a lot of problems maybe about right there you hit apply you have all these vertices oh my lord that is a modeling nightmare you go to the the, modif the modifiers tab of course add decimate unsubdivide and change the iterations it'll take a little bit of time though change the iterations up a couple of tips like i said use a use a cube instead of a sphere you see we only have 3000 vertices now um, you want to go on by two, so two, four, six, eight. You don't want to go on one or three or you know five because you get this weird sideways, uh, this weird sideways diamond shape. But uh, but yeah, so I'm gonna be doing some modeling and rigging videos very very soon. So stay on the lookout for those. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. But until then, bye. -bye.